The Leadership Tribunal for the Suspended Member of Parliament, Brian Kramer, was heard today, with a total number of 12 allegations that was put to verdict. The 12, there were, how many in total? So allegations one or two of scandalizing um, the judiciary, the court, may, uh, tribunal made a finding of guilt. Allegation three, it was not guilty, in relation to the allegation by uh, Mr. Paul Nee that he was terminated for, through interference. Allegation four, publishing the complaint letter by the Chief Justice, uh, that, that allegation was dismissed for allegedly scandalizing the judiciary. Allegation in five and six of the engagement of Vitolo Enterprise by the board of the DDA, uh, they tribunal made a finding of guilty. With a total number of 12 allegations that was put to verdict, Kramer explained that the law has taken its course today and they will return on the 20th of March 2023 for trial. But basically their views and in my view is the issue of interpretation of what the law. So then the issue of whether I still maintain that most of these allegations relate to administrative issues but then the Again, the tribunal will come and deal with the issue of penalty, and penalty deals with culpability. Kramer gave his statement. Uh, Twelve allegations uh, referred by the Richmond Commission. I've taken note of the judgment. I'm not too bothered. I've taken note of their interpretation of the law. And so the only issue now to deal with is penalty. Uh, there was no evidence or any judgment of saying any dishonesty or misappropriation with the element of dishonesty. So these are, I've maintained the position, uh, administrative issues provided by the law. The tribunal has expressed its own interpretation of what that law in, uh, means. So it's an issue now coming back for the uh, penalty, which will make submissions and they take note of the penalties of in relation to their funding of guilt. Grace Papiali, National MTV News.